Hi guys, my name's Tom and welcome back to another build guide for the N-Gage cow shed as shown here. Now ideally before you start your build, you'd paint up the pieces prior to building it. It just makes it a bit easier. It's not impossible to do after building it, but I'd always attempt to paint up before I start the build process. But the card I'm working with today is unpainted and I'll just show you how to, how to build the model. So once built and once weathered up, you get the effect as shown and as shown in the pictures before we got to this stage. It's a great little model and the details I like to see, you can actually see right through it, it's brilliant. It's quite large, but in theory a cow shed is. Uh, so make sure you accommodate some space for this on your layouts if that's what you want to do. So we'll get to it now. I'll start with cutting out the pieces from the cardstock as always. And I'll get the required pieces out in front of me and we'll get straight into the build. Okay, so I've got in front of me now the pieces that were required to start the build process. So we've got the two ends, the two sides, and we've got three internal support structures. So we're going to put these to the side for now. I'm going to grab any one of the sides and any one of the ends. And with your edge detailing on the outside, it has a little notch here. And that has a notch on it also. They're simply going to butt up like so. We're going to apply some glue down this inside edge. Okay, so we've got a close up now. We've got this face down. We've got little etch detailing work on the outside here. So this is our face. We're going to put this face down to the table. Again, taking our piece. This has all the etched brickwork detail on the outside. So we're going to ensure that that is on the outside. The brick is going to be down the bottom of the leg, like so. And just align those two notches, got one here and one cut out here, together. And I'm going to run some glue down the inside edge at the back. So just while I'm holding them in place, I'm going to take some glue. I use super glue. You can use whatever glue you like, as long as it sticks card, it'll work for the models. I use super glue for the videos because it dries quick but if you're more comfortable with PVA glue by all means use it okay that's begun to stick for me so I'm now going to take the other side again ensuring that the brickwork is at the bottom of the leg and facing the, to the outside of the building like so And then I'm going to glue the inside edge like before. And just allow that glue to set. Okay, so then two side pieces are now glued on. I'm going to now rotate the model. Taking our other end piece, again, one side has very thin etched lines here and here. That's going to be on the outside edge. And just locate those notches together. Hold it in place like so with your fingers. I'm just going to run some glue down that inside edge. like so. So I'm just going to twist it around a bit and do the same again for the last remaining corner. Just put them notches together, hold it in place with your spare hand and apply some glue here over. Okay, so we've now got the basic shape to the building. So now I'm going to take any one of the internal supports and you can see the supports on the outside of the building. That's where we're going to locate the inside edges of either side of 
the internal supports. I'm going to start with the edge closest to us and then I'll run some glue down this edge like so. I'm going to line it up central to that support ensuring that it's flush to the table as well and just hold it in place and allow it to dry if needs be go back with a bit more glue just to firmly secure it into place sides of it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to move along, repeat the process for this beam here, take one of the side pieces, apply a little bit of glue, Bring that in. Make sure it's nice and straight coming up and down. Go back with a bit more glue just to secure it. Okay, and then the final piece, same again, I'm going to put some glue on the inside edge, I'm going to drop this into the place, Okay, so they're now secure to that side. Obviously, we've got to do this back side, so I'm going to flip it around and do the same process. So we got all them now glued and secured into place. So the next part we're going to need is our roofing. Now I'll cut this out now. We've got two of these, and that'll be our next step. Okay, so yours would be painted up obviously before you glue it on. But first, before we attach it to the model, we want to stick our window pieces to the back side of each window opening. So taking the supplied clear sheet, cut out enough for each window and simply attach it into place. I'm sure you've all done that before, but just for those of you who haven't, cut out a square piece like so. So that's just overlapping the window there. It's, again, it's not ideal to use super glue when gluing clear plastic on because it can fog up. But using PVA glue, something like that, if you're careful, you hoo glue works well as well. As long as you're careful and don't get it onto the inside or any part of the clear bit what's shown through, you're good to go. So simply cut it out, apply some glue around the perimeter and just drop it into place. Repeat the process for each and every cut out we've got for the windows. And then we'll move on to the next part.
Okay, we've now glued in all our windows to the back side of our roof section. But to make the next process easier, I'm going to use some masking tape. Strip off a length, and we're going to attach this to the inside edge. And we're going to go for the one that has the windows towards one side. So this is going to be our top. As you can see, the windows are towards the top, not the bottom. And the same again for the other side, make sure that's the opposite to what we've got here. Butt up all these edges, make sure they're nice and tight, nice and flush. And then we'll just attach our sellotape like so. So now we've got our masking tape attached. You can see, we can quite easily bend it and it will hold nice and tight across the apex here. So we're going to bring back our model. I'm just going to set this on top, like so. And now it's a case of just getting all the edges nice and square and working with your model until you get to that point. Okay, so this side of, of the roof for me, this end and the other end are now aligned and are perfectly flush on the outside edge here. So I'm just going to use a bit of super glue just to basically tack that into place and apply a few drops. All the way down, just let that set. I'm going to spin the model around so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got this edge nice and flush from this corner to here. It's nice and flush right up to the apex point at the top. Okay. And if needs be to hold it in place, if the outside's just pushing away from it, just rest your finger on top and that will allow you to hold the side in. When you're happy, just apply some glue. And we're just tacking this into place. We're going to do all our glue underneath it in a minute. This is just to make sure that we're all nicely al aligned all the way around. Okay, so that side of the roof is now connected. This side isn't, so I'm going to do the same again. And ensure that it's nice and flush here. And that it meets nicely at the bottom. Like so, just going to apply some glue down that front edge. And that'll tack that into place. Okay, and for that final one, same again. Okay, so now that they're all tacked, we can flip the model over. I'm now going to run glue down each and every side of these supports, including the sides, and ensure that the roof is firmly connected to the actual model now. Okay, so we've got all the sides glued on now, we've got the internal supports nice and secure. So that's the basic shape to the model. So now it is about placing the finishing touches. So we've got 
one card left that has the apex covers here and a few other pieces. We'll cut all them out now. And you have one long one on this one as well, so don't forget that. So I'll cut all them pieces out and get back to you in a second. Okay, so we've got all those parts cut out. So we've got four long thin strips. We've got two with little angles cut at either end. We've got two apex ones and one thicker long strip. Okay, so that thicker long strip we'll start with. So we bring back the model. That is going to be glued on the top like so. Obviously this would be painted to match your roof. And that is going to hide our joint here. So just apply a bit of glue at one end. Go about three quarters of the way up. And then holding the plate piece on top, if you pull down one end, it'll straighten the card out for you. Okay, so that's in place now. So I'm just going to lift up where it's unglued. Apply some glue all the way down. And again, I'm just going to tug on the, this loose end. And run my finger down the rest. And that's secured that in place, and that's now nice and straight. You can see that. Okay. So the next part, I'm going to take our apex, and that is going to cover our joint at the front. And it's going to fit on like so. so. If I show you this side, we've got the edge detailing here, outlining where each piece will stick. So the apex one will stick right up to that corner, like so. And then the other piece will stick underneath here. So again, I'll, I'll glue this on now. Okay, so. As you can see I've put the front apex piece on now, I've got this extra piece, those joints meet up nice and tight there and again the other side's the same. So this just gives it a bit of relief and makes it look more realistic. Okay so we're now left with the four long thin pieces like so and again they're going to go down the side of the model. So we've got an etched line just above the brickwork running all the way down and just at the top here underneath the roof We've got the seam again, and that's where we'll attach both these pieces. So I'm just going to start with a bit of glue down one end, like the roof. I'll attach this end on their match lines, like so. And then this end, what's not glued, if you pull that, while you glue it, it'll end up nice and straight for you. So I'm just going to move this out the way. Apply some glue. It needs to be. I'm going to pull this card. And that's nice and straight where it needs to be. So same again for the roof. That one end, apply some glue, apply some more glue around the rest of the model, and then it's on this end. That'll give us a nice straight edge there. Okay, and then the same process for the other side. So the last remaining parts what are included in the kit are some cow fencing or cattle fencing. These are very delicate, be careful when you cut them out. And I'll just show you a couple on how I attach them together. So it's the same process for all of them. Okay, so each gap between will take two of these fences. 
like so, end to end. So I'm first going to attach two together. So I put a bit of glue down one end. I'm going to make sure they butt up to one another. And then I'm just going to further secure it with a bit more glue. Like so. So they're now one long piece. And it's a case of just simply holding them into place. It is quite a good fit. As you can see there, I'm not holding it. It just fits nice and snug between those pillars coming down. And as you can see, you've now got nice fence in between each post. So there's a fair few included in the kit. There's more than enough to go around each perimeter and you could do something fancy inside as well. Okay, so that concludes the build for the Engage cow shed. Well, that's it. That's the build guide for the cow shed from start to finish. Uh, again, it's a simple build, but really looks effective. And I really love the effect you get when you're looking through the edge of the barn itself and being able to see through them slats it's fantastic really really looks realistic take your time with the build as always as you can see I struggled a bit with this one with the super glue so especially trying to do it on camera just take your time there's no need to rush and use a glue like PVA glue where you've got a bit of time to manipulate the part exactly where you want it with no need to rush the build by all means like, like I said I highly recommend painting it beforehand it's not by any means impossible to paint afterwards but I just think you'll get a bit of a neater finish if you apply paint to the parts before you do so. If you'd like to see how I sprayed the example I've got here, leave a comment below and I'll upload a video of how to paint the video myself. And I use an airbrush, but I'll do one half airbrushed, one half by the dry brushing. So you've got both means and both effects. And like I said, it really looks good once painted up. So, like I said, that concludes the build for the cow shed. Thank you for coming along. If you could please like and subscribe to my channel. Any comments are more than welcome. Please leave them below and I will see you again.